everyone, Medina here. Thank you so much for watching. I am pretty chuffed because I've just come off a self-love, self-care retreat this last weekend and it was super successful. It was small but it was really profound. We did a lot of fantastic work, had a lovely connection and I think the participants went home feeling really empowered in, their, in themselves and in their lives. So that's really exciting and as a result of that I'll be running these retreats every month now hopefully if I get enough uh, people interested so they'll be in October and November I've got two more weekend retreats coming up in self-love and self-care if that resonates with you please feel welcome to contact me they're for singles for couples and also for group bookings so um, if you really want to create transformation in your life and learn how to have self-love and self-care please come along I'd love to invite you to join us so today what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a card and one thing that's standing out for me at the moment is I'm noticing that there are a lot of light workers and healers who are starting to feel quite um, overwhelmed or feeling that they're um, exhausted, they're feeling really tired but maybe not sleeping as much as their body is asking them to. So if you're getting the signals to slow down and to sleep more and to you know up your self-care routine and perhaps increase the nutrition of your food, have more organic food or life force food, fresh raw food with life force, things like that, increase your water intake, then please listen to that because it's really important at the minute. There's some, so much intense energy coming down, shifting us individually and collectively that it's really important to listen to our bodies at this time. And on that note, I'm going to pick a card. These are beautiful mystical wisdom cards and the illustrations are by Josephine Wall and her illustrations are absolutely stunning. So I'm going to pick a card for today and see if this card can help you in your life in some way. So this card is Enlightenment Pursue Spiritual Growth. So this is the card here, Enlightenment Pursue Spiritual Growth. So if you're watching this, you're here for a reason. There are no accidents and the universe has brought you here to hear this message. So what can you do to develop your spiritual um, evolution, to develop your spiritual awareness, to learn more, to be open and expanded in your consciousness, to be able to let in new concepts to do with spirituality. Maybe you can ask the universe, put out the intention, may I please be guided in the direction of my own spiritual evolution and it's funny I had a person recently who did that and they were walking through the library and literally a book went bang and hit them on the head <laughs> dropped on their head and it was the perfect book for what they were wanting at that time and what they were needing so obviously uh, that happened for a reason so if you stay open to the signals around you and the flow of the universe and the signs then you will be able to perhaps get messages about which direction to take how to develop your spiritual um, growth and to learn more in this area you know there might be all these synchronicities like you know you open a book and there's a particular thing and then somebody mentions the same thing to you again um, and then that that's a signal so keep, keep really open to those sorts of signs in the universe to develop your spiritual evolution. You know, things like developing meditation practices are really powerful. And a brilliant one is working with the ultraviolet purple flame and then bringing your, working with the white light. So bringing your white light down through the top of your head, through your body, and then also from the core of the earth. So you're bringing it from above and below, pure white light. Uh, then there's you know things like breathing techniques to get us into a more spiritually open space. Um, there's things like chanting. I'm running sound healing actually in Ballarat 
fortnightly if anyone's in that area and wants to do sound healing that can open you up sound and the resonance of sound um, to spiritual growth and you know there are so many different ways that we can access our spiritual um, evolution so just be open and ask and allow time in your life to just stop and be open to the flow of the universe if we're constantly rushing and busy it's very hard to bring all these other aspects in and it's a really important time now to stop and slow down and really tune in to the inner and work with our inner to, to grow and evolve as much as we can. So I hope that that's helpful and if you would like to talk to me further to gain any more insights or you'd like to do a session with me, please contact me. I'm also doing lots of past life healings and readings at the minute which can really help you move forward in a big way in your life because sometimes those past lives can block us because we're still healing the wounding from those lifetimes um, in this lifetime. So um, have a beautiful day. Enjoy the sun and those beautiful light coats that the sun's bringing us at the moment. That's also important. And I'll see you hopefully on the next video. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Bye. <laughs>